There is a paradox in online learning that you need to be aware of. The following warning is something that you need to continually come back to. You will never please them all. You will often have some students who skip links or information, work through the resources in any order, and email, call, or message you with questions that reveal they may not have opened up the course. You will also have some students who will meticulously read every word and go through every resource in a linear sequence expecting explicit details that they can then follow. Your word selection and order will play into their anxiety and will lead to many, many questions. Even the use of a phrase like Module 1 Activity instead of Module 1 Assignment may cause these students to question what you are asking them to do. These types of students like familiarity, and they may be expecting to see the word or heading assignment, and if you use the term activity, they may need verification or assurance the first time they go through one of your courses or modules. Remember, you can't please them all. Your students will always experience cognitive dissonance, so you need to decide where you will use this learning angst as part of the learning process. Since I use a cognitive constructivist learning philosophy, use outcomes-based instruction that uses authentic learning opportunities rather than the competency-based assignments, I will use terms like learning activity, authentic learning opportunity, instead of assignment. When I do this, I know that this may cause some cognitive dissonance or angst in some of my learners. If you are proactive and plan for it, you can use this angst to help your learners make the meaningful connections between the learning activity or the learning opportunity and their growth and development, which is key to deeper learning. I inform all my learners that I want to move them into deeper learning rather than simply expect them to check off a box on an assignment checklist. This is why one of the first things we required you to do in the design process is get very clear on why you are using outcomes-based or competency-based education. Your selection of outcomes-based or competency-based will drive everything from your terminology to your activities and your assessment and the level of cognitive dissonance that you will ask your learner to experience. Most students are familiar with the behaviors control of competency-based education and the prescriptive step-by-step -step approach of this information transfer model. So if you are looking to move into higher order analysis, synthesis, and creation that are part of outcomes-based education, then you will need to help your students move away from what they are comfortable and into authentic learning opportunities and activities of this constructivist approach. If you're going to do this, you must inform or warn your learner. I generally let my learners know in our first meeting and in the introduction or overview videos that the learning environment that I've created is outcomes-based and uses authentic learning opportunities. I also assure my learners that they are in a learning environment where they can feel safe to be who they are, to experiment, to explore, and to make mistakes because failing forward is a key part of the learning process. I repeatedly warn my learners that I will be challenging them to grow and that deeper learning will cause cognitive dissonance, which will more than likely make them somewhat uncomfortable. Yes, deeper learning can be uncomfortable, but I also assure my learners that they will get used to these feelings and to recognize that angst and uncertainty are just part of learning and the growth development process. It is also crucial to inform your learners that you have been where they are at. You still experience the same angst and uncertainty that they may be experiencing, and you have learned to fail forward and recognize that while deeper learning is often uncomfortable, it has been the key to your own personal growth and development. Yes, learning can be uncomfortable. Making those meaningful connections can cause angst, but working through the challenges of deeper learning is so rewarding that I want to assure you that the failure and frustration is worth it. Deeper learning still makes me uncomfortable, but I'm getting used to it, and so will you.